Memories Listen, I'm going to break down I, how Chris Bosh and how more evidence proved that Kobe was better and bigger than LeBron James. Memories. Hanging with Kobe, of course. His biggest uh, memory, hanging with Kobe. Going. Listen, his biggest memory, this is LeBron James' teammate. This is LeBron James' draft class. This is LeBron James' one, two championship teammate. Saying this about Kobe Bryant. He know what the media and the narrative is about. You got to put LeBron James over Kobe. And here's Shannon Sharp, LeBron James' lover. It's hurting his soul, guys. It's, it had to hurt. He stayed strong and tall and didn't say too much about this. But you can tell Shannon Sharp was burnt. Listen, how do listen, all that because Shannon Sharp just he just spew a lot of bull crap and he know that the media narrative he's a part of LeBron James machine. But watch, 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 watch. We went to the uh, uh, village quite a bit. I, I want to say every other day we had built this uh, thing where we would play. The next day we practice and then go hang out at the village. But just to hang out at the village, see the spirit of the games, talk to the people, you know, eat, eat, um, eat in the mess hall, you know, eat the same food. That, and, and like seeing how big Kobe was. Listen, guys. Because, <laughs> you know, LeBron... LeBron is, you know, Kobe's, Kobe's the guy, and LeBron, and he's like, okay, he's the guy you can touch. You can't touch Kobe. Right. LeBron, you can touch. Can't touch Kobe. And, and he's on his way, and, like, he's one of the best in the world. But then right. Kobe was around, and it was, it was just, I mean, the way people reacted to that guy was crazy. But just getting to see some of that, getting to see how hard he worked, how much. How hard he worked. Listen, listen, you heard it, you heard it here first. I know y'all probably watch 100,000 views on his channel, and I'm probably sure they comments a little. Yeah, how can you say LeBron is better than Kobe? At this, what Chris Bosh said, listen, Kobe was bigger than life over there in China. He was the biggest thing since sliced bread. And you got Chris Bosh, a Hall of Fame player, who played in one championship with LeBron James. Say this about Kobe Bryant. Shows you the level of stupidity. Nick Wright, Max Kellerman, Shannon Sharp himself. All these weak ass media narratives that pushes LeBron James goat narrative, you have to explain why Chris Bosh, his own team, Hall of Fame teammate, say Kobe couldn't be touched. This is, and then then you watch the documentary. I'm not gonna put put this in my video. I'm gonna get copyright. Of course, you know they got music in the background. They got all this stuff. I get copyright strikes a couple times. Take great videos I made. Person I think I made put it down. Coach K said we recruited Kobe Bryant to the Dream Team. It's the reason the reason why we lost we lost in 04. We then we came, we lost in 06 in the fiber competition. He said, I was I wasn't sure about this team. That's the reason why I recruited Kobe. Because Kobe is the best in the world. We needed Kobe. Kobe came and he quote I quote Kobe. I was tired of seeing y'all boys lose. I'm here. And Melo saying in, in the documentary, that's the type of energy. That's what I'm talking about. That's the type of stuff I want to hear. Laughing in the documentary, which y'all see on Netflix next month. So we have new found evidence. And you watch that, that that Spain game they won. Kobe led the charge down the stretch. Kobe called me, Kobe came to Coach K and said, listen, I'll join the team. You want to crew me? I'll join the team. I'm sick of your guy losing, but I'll join the team. Only if I if I get to guard the opposing best player on that team. Straight like Kobe Brown Mouth. Let me guard the Rudy Fernandez. Let me guard the Nobles. Let me guard those, those, those top. Let me guard the Rudy, the um the Ricky Rubio's. I want that challenge. Cause I was second in scoring on the team, but I, I took the challenge of scoring the best offensive player because I'm the best player in the league. Everybody over there know the best player in the league. LeBron said Kobe was the best player in the league. And Nick Wright say Kobe Brown was never the best player in the NBA. That's the most foolish. Ask the 9, ask the 10, ask the 11, ask the 12, 13 crazy shit y'all ever hear on TV, period. Chris Bosh. Shannon, how do you feel listening to Chris like? They got that had to hurt Chris. That had to hurt Shannon Sharp and all this bullshit he had to spear about Kobe. He still took and then he came yesterday. I made a video earlier. How he bigged up Kobe. Kobe look Mike right now. Right, let's go. Let's do this. You say all this stuff, but you put LeBron better than Kobe. And everybody know Kobe was the man. Kobe was the man. And LeBron took over when Kobe was going was was still great. But LeBron was the man winning championship. So we had to get that crown to him around 2012, 2013. But anyway, y'all like, subscribe, tell me what y'all think. More proof evidence. And how do a guy, why do you recruit a ball hawk? If LeBron James so great, and don't tell me he was young, that was young. Shit, nigga. They playing against inferior competition out there. LeBron James was a 20-point scorer, five and six rebounds assists in his rookie season. And then he lost in 06. They had Tim Duncan. By the way, they had Tim Duncan on, the, on that team. With LeBron, with, with Melo, with Dwayne Wade. They had Tim Duncan. 
a two-time MVP already and lost. And lost. And they say, Tim Duncan better than Kobe Bryant. They, everybody know when they got Kobe Bryant on their limit team, they were not going to lose no more. And they did not lose no more. Period. And they needed Kobe Bryant presence against that Spain team. They wouldn't have won without Kobe scoring and defense, the, the, the four-point play, the three ball. Every And, and Doug Collins say, if you watch that game, we everybody know who everybody know who the ball is gonna go to. Kobe live for these moments. All three last plays, guess who involved, guys? Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant seized the moment, and anybody and no anybody in the NBA is ready for this moment. Kobe Bryant and he delivered, and we got the goal because of Kobe Bryant in 2012. Same thing. The team got better. They won. They, we ain't looked back since Kobe Bryant joined the organization, uh, the uh, program. And we all know why. In 04, Kobe went on the team because he had the rip, the rep allegations in that case. So they didn't recruit him. They, they, he, he, we know what we know. Behind closed door, what was going on? They, and Kobe probably didn't want to go neither. He was dealing with that shit and trying to get home back fixed. And so it was embarrassing to lose to a team. We the best. We started basketball. How the hell we lose to them? Young, young LeBron in 04 or not? Like LeBron was a freakish athlete in nature. Like they were both averaging Melo and LeBron averaging 20. You're going against guys that are not pros. LeBron, y'all pros. And in 06, you lose as a 31. Le LeBron was averaging 31 points for a game in a fight with coming he lost. They needed Kobe. So why why would they need a ball hog on their team that got all this great scoring? Why would they need a guy like Kobe Bryant? They need his presence. And then, as I always say, Kobe Bryant elevated everybody game. After the Olympics, Dwayne Wade, scoring champion. LeBron James, lead MVP. Melo, Western Conference final. Kobe Bryant elevated their game. And only so happened, Kobe Bryant won the championship the next season. Because Kobe said, I'm trying to create a championship. Y'all can chase all the other bullshit. LeBron, you get the MVP. Wade, you get the scoring championship. Melo, I'll meet you the Western Conference final. Get your shit together. You got Chunchy now. I see you. Anyway, and that's how third row. That's why Kobe the GOAT, bro. That's why Kobe is that great. Y'all like subscribe, I'm out.